Hi there! I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about an article published in, um, let's see, published in Preventative Medicine, the Journal of Preventative Medicine, and it talks about how outdoor play can affect adolescents. So this uh, study was conducted at the univer at Queen's University in Ontario, Canada. The, na the name of it is Outdoor Play and Nature Connectedness as Potential Correlates of Internalized Mental Health Systems Among Canadian Adolescents. So a four-person research team gathered the results from the Canadian Health Behavioral in School Children Study, which is a large cross-sectional national survey conducted every four years um, in Canada to gather information on the habits of the youth, how much they get outside, what they eat, how that affects their performance at school and happiness, etc. Um, the researchers were inspired by the trends on um, the trend in research on how being outside affects adults and so they wanted to see if that is the same for adolescents. So they went through this uh, survey that the Canadian Health um, committee puts out every year and they were looking for connections between outdoor play perceptions of connected with with nature and psychological or somatic symptoms such as dizziness headaches stomach aches and also feelings of depression irritability and anger what they found is that boys and girls who report feeling connected with nature are more likely to have um, somatic symptoms such as headaches, dizziness, and stomach aches, as well as girls who spent more time outdoors uh, reported, uh, and by more I mean more than half an hour per week, they reported um, a 24% reduction in their psychosomatic um, symptoms as compared to their peers who didn't spend any time outdoors. So it has, the time spent outdoors affects the girls, whereas the feeling of being connected with nature um, affects the guys. So this study had a couple of drawbacks. Um, it was all self-reported, so they have um, the disadvantage of maybe retrospection affecting the students' answers, uh, recall bias, excuse me. Um, and a strength of the study is um, that this data that they collected is usually widely available, so they'll be able to replicate it as they move forward. Thanks.